after several names being linked to a potential Anthony Joshua comeback fight early next year, 2023, it appears we now have a front runner. We had names like Otto Valin linked, we had Chris the Nightmare Riola, Boo! Big Bang Zhang, and more undesirable Gerald Washington from my standpoint. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see um, some of those fights. I, I didn't see um, Joshua jumping in the ring with Washington. I didn't see him taking Ariola either. But what we've been hearing from Team Joshua, namely Eddie Hearn, over the past month or, or so, the purpose of the next fight, well, the next couple of fights was to get a AJ a few wins, get him back in the groove, get him to try a few things in the ring. Just, you know, confidence builder. But in true AJ fashion, he, he's not interested in jumping in the ring with no no hopers like your Washingtons and your Chris the Nightmare Ariola at this point. He's not interested. Although Ariola gave Ruiz hell, but yeah, let's face it, Ariola's past it. And according to Eddie Hearn, AJ doesn't have any interest in fighting any of these guys. And in my opinion, some of those fights are just pointless exercise like the Ariola and Washingtons. I mean, there's no, there's no point. Even Big Bang Zhang to an extent, I don't, I don't think, I think he's just there to be knocked out in my opinion. Although, again, he gave Hergovic a wally go handle and in my opinion, he, he took that fight. He beat Hergovic, but robbery, as you have it. But, yeah. In true AJ fashion, jumping straight back in the fire, taking a tough fight on his comeback, and he wants that Dylan smoke. Yeah, I just feel that obviously AJ mentally had accepted the Tyson Fury fire. When that fell through, we start going back to the original plan of having two steady top 15 guys. And I just think that in AJ's head, he's like, every camp's hard, every fight's hard. I'm not sure I just want an easy fight. Like, what about Dillian White? And this was just discussed the other day, and I said, listen, I'd love to make that fight. Of course, Dillian White would love the fight with, with Anthony Joshua. It's a great fight for, for British boxing. It's a great fight for the heavyweight division. Don't you understand? I just want the smoke. I want the best smoke there is. That's it. I just want smoke. As we all know, the pair faced off in 2015 in a British heavyweight classic where AJ knocked out Dillian White, I think, in the, in the seventh round, was it, with an uppercut. Starting the Dylan White uppercut knockdown knockout trend, which uh, seems to be uh, a constant theme in Dylan White's career. And ever since then, they've always been talks of them having a third fight because they first met in the amateurs where Dylan White came out victorious and they had a rematch in the pro. AJ won that by knockout in the seventh round, like I said. And yeah, they've always had their back and forth about, you know, squaring off again. They came close to fighting in 2019, right before AJ went to Madison Square Garden and got turned over by Andrew Ruiz. But according to Team AJ, Dylan White priced himself out. But we had Dylan White going around with his famous I Know My Worth campaign. He reckoned he was worth more than it was offered for the fight. And yeah, he turned it down. And AJ went over to the US to fight Andrew Ruiz and the rest is history. Over the years though, they seem to have their little back and forths here and there. That's since the, the initial fight in 2015, they've always had their back and forths. They appear to be mortal enemies at times, they appear to be friends at times, they appear to be just... No, no, scratch that. They've not appeared to be best friends or anything like that, but they've offered each other support over the years in their respective careers before and after fights. But it appears this beef has always been brewing in the background and in the foreground sometimes. And these two, they've always been on a collision course and they were destined to have this third fight. So it appears at some point early next year, we're probably going to get it again. It should be a great fight, but I think, I think, for me, for me, there's just one clear winner here. There's one clear winner here. We have to see what... <laughs> We're just overlooking the fact that Dylan White has a fight in November 26th against a, a hungry, unbeaten American heavyweight in Jermaine Franklin. He's going to have to come out on top without any injuries or complications. That one little Jermaine Franklin shaped hurdle to clear before he can go full steam ahead to the negotiation table for this AJ fight. So yeah, watch this space. We'll see how this turns out. Anyways, what do you guys think? You feel AJ is making a big mistake by jumping straight back in the fire with such a tough fight against Dylan White, or should you have taken several steps back to your Chris Ariola's Gerald Washington's of the world? 
I feel those fights were a little bit too far. I don't think he should be taking such such easy fights in Washington and what have you. I don't, if if that Asian Washington fight got announced, yeah, he, that that was not gonna get my blessing. I was just I was gonna make a video about it. I say you know what, let me just wait and see because this just doesn't make any sense i didn't think that fight was actually <laughs> ever gonna happen at some point a few days ago it appeared washington was he seemed to be the front runner well, if you believe reports out there but yeah i didn't see that happen that just did not make any sense to me and i had to let out a sigh of relief when i heard this dylan white news because yeah i did not want no washington fight nah i don't, I don't want to see that i feel that's just pointless just a guy waiting to get knocked over pretty much after suffering that knockout defeat in april to tyson fury though we need to see where dylan white's at his punch resistance has been questionable for for some years now but he was winning fights and he went on a, a pretty impressive um, winning streak we need to see does he still have that fire burning in him against jermaine franklin we need to see what kind of dylan white we get that's something to look out for the punch resistance the grit does he still have all of that is it still the same old dylan white and yeah, if, if that's the case, then bring, bring on Dylan versus AJ early next year. I'm here for that. I want to see that. I want to see that. Some people are trashing this fight though online. They're saying, uh, oh, Dylan White's chin is gone. AJ is, is so scared. That's why he can't. He doesn't want to fight Big Bang Zang or Walter huh? Valen. He's scared to lose. So he's going to, he's picking on Dylan White because it's a, it's a knockout victim, blah, blah, blah. It, it, that, that's ridiculous. We seem to be forgetting the fact that Dylan White was the WBC mandatory for how long? He was Wilder's mandatory, Wilder did not want to take him and then he became Fury's mandatory and then Fury put that fight off for so long he tried his hardest to, to delay taking the fight before he eventually took it and ended up knocking out Dylan White. So let's not act like people are desperate to fight Dylan White because they, they know they're, they're guaranteed a knockout. No, 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 no. It's a dangerous, dangerous fighter. Clearly he has some punch resistance issues at this point, but it's a dangerous, dangerous fighter who can take out anybody in the in the division. So yeah, let's let's not try and um, drag AJ down with the Chizora um, Fury fight sort of situation. Nah, this ain't a Fury Chizora type of fight. No way, by no means. And I wouldn't see um, Tyson Fury taking Dylan White as a voluntary. That that, that was never gonna happen. Lest we forget, this is the guy that knocked out Chizora with one punch. So, yeah, White knocked out Chizora. The the WBC champion is fighting Chizora, and the guy with no belt is fighting Dylan White. Yeah, go figure. It, it's it's quite funny, and I think from AJ's perspective, it should be flattering that he's still being treated like a champion, even though he doesn't hold any belt. What compels Joshua to take any tough fights at this point? Well, what reasons does he have? He, he's not a champion. He doesn't have to face a top 10, top 15 fighter. So he's on his own career path. That's his gift. He can do whatever he wants, whatever he chooses to do. So he can't be trying to compare his fights to the, to the fights of the champions. The champions are fighting guys that got knocked out by who he's fighting, but people are still criticizing who AJ's fighting. It makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. What it does show you though, it shows you how highly these people think of AJ. For them to say Dylan White is a, it's an easy fight or it's not a good fight for him, it shows how highly they think of him. This is Dylan White we're talking about here. He has at least top 3 best CVs in the heavyweight division today. He beat an unbeaten Oscar Rivas, beat um, Chizora twice, knocking him out the second time. Lost to Povetkin, then knocked out Povetkin. Beat uh, Joseph Parker, Lucas Brown, Hellenius. Lost to Tyson Fury. Like, come on, he has at least top three best CVs in the game. So, to say AJ taking him is not a good fight, that's ridiculous, in my opinion, anyways. Anyways, I'm interested to know what you guys think of this whole situation. What fight would you rather AJ take? And are you happy with this Dylan White fight? If this were to be announced for early next year. Do you, do you think Dylan? What do you think of Dylan White's um, situation at the moment? Do you think Dylan White still got it? Is it past it? Is his punch resistance completely gone from seeing him getting knocked out by that upper cop uh, against Tyson Fury? Yeah, put it all down in the comment section. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think. With all that being said. Subscribe if you're new around here. Notification bell have that turned on so you know exactly what's going on up here. 
like the video if you like the video the twitter question marks uk i'm out